Hi guys, Thomas here from Finite and welcome to another recap. So, uh, last posts were a little bit more educational or uh, more talking about the S&P and the market itself. And uh, on Monday, the trading was quite boring. I ended up uh, a little bit positive. Then uh, yesterday I ended up a little bit negative. So overall, uh, floating around break even for the day. And let's quickly look at uh, Tuesday's trades uh, because I want to illustrate uh, one thing too. So. First two trades were both in car, which was gapping uh, to 29. So I had trouble in days like those for the past uh, couple of days. It's it's really difficult because most of these stocks are looking very similar. So at least I was looking at some, you know, uh, things that were different and in car uh, what persuaded me to look for longs was that it it went down below the 200 moving average and it formed a double top and now is gapping over the over this all so i that got me thinking that uh, this could be a really um strong stock coming uh, coming f uh, forward uh, the next day and the opportunity came right around here so car was forming a cup and a handle formation with uh, a touch for a touch from the moving average so overall uh, pretty pretty good setup so i went long over 2850 uh, stop loss i was hesitating between uh 28 whole number uh, and 28 uh, 10 because uh 28 10 was the view up uh if you counted in the pre and post market so i went with the tighter stop loss because um i wanted my target to be uh, before before the highs not at the very top and i got out it was, was a fa false breakout but uh, the moving average held again so i re-entered uh, once again and uh, with, with the stop loss under 28 this time and got kicked, kicked in the nuts again. So at that point, uh, I concluded that uh, this was enough for for the trade. And really, this wasn't a bad uh, situation. Only that it didn't work out because uh, it still was behaving in a way uh, that I wanted. The problem is that at that time the S and P started going down as well and took most of the stocks uh, i think uh, only uh, only the lly was strong enough at that time and the remainder of the stocks went sideways or downwards uh, so the last trade of of Tuesday was actually Boeing under 200 right there uh, initially a long idea but uh, the further in the day the, the clearer it was that S&P is not gonna hold and uh, Boeing albeit gapping uh, over 16 points upwards um uh, wasn't strong uh, it was way weaker than the market itself which itself was very weak so this situation right there was a perfect short opportunity breakdown pattern and i 
I wrote it as low as 185. Uh, 19480 uh, sorry 19480 so right about there uh, it then retraced and did even uh, deeper push but uh, at that point it was uh, too volatile and too risky and if you take a look this this uh, reversal uh, means that it was really under a huge pressure and uh, few minutes later you would be uh, you would be looking at uh, significantly less profit so I'm really glad with my exit right there uh, and for the rest of the day Boeing was uh, basically mirroring the market so I didn't find any other uh, any other opportunities there so that was my tuesday guys and uh today the market is slightly up uh so it's maybe time that we close the upper uh, upper gap uh, as i was talking to about in previous videos so uh be aware be mindful and uh it's always better to be late uh, and to hand pick your uh, your trades then and then to panic uh, and start breaking your plan so uh, don't worry if you miss the initial movement uh, be happy that you have the movement the movement confirmed and that you are trading on the right side of the market so thanks guys